Some of my favorite speeches to listen to are the ones that effectively combine humor and emotion in the same speech. And Jimmy Kimmel really nailed it last month when he talked about his son's medical issues in a segment of his show. Now his show usually keeps it light and entertaining, but this time he had a serious message that he really wanted to get across. If you haven't watched the speech, I would encourage you to go for a link in the description of this video and watch that first because I'm going to be breaking down just what makes his speech so good. First of all, Jimmy used story very effectively. There's nothing that can really replace the emotional power of stories. In fact, in 2007, three researchers set out to find out whether statistics or stories were more effective for getting people to donate to charities. Half of the subjects were given a brochure with statistics about hunger in Africa. The other half were given a brochure with a story about one girl in Africa who was struggling. And they found that people were willing to give more money to the charity that only talked about one story versus the charity that talked about the hundreds of thousands of people that needed help. And the reason why is simple. Statistics are less emotionally powerful than stories. The second thing that Jimmy Kimmel did right was using vivid details. Details make a story come to life. If you just summarize what happened, then people don't actually go there in their head. They just kind of hear the information and say, okay, that happened. But if you give details, you give names, you give dates, you give emotional states, you develop the characters in your story, then people start to really get drawn in. And they literally can become hypnotized while listening to your story. Jimmy gives specific details in the story. He talks about the names of the nurses and doctors that helped out. He talked about how insightful they were. He talked about the age of his daughter, even though that wasn't really necessarily relevant to the story. It just adds a certain element of liveliness. It brings the audience into the story. And especially when he talked about how he felt at various moments in the story, people are able to think about yeah, that's how I would feel in the same situation. It really draws them into the story. The third thing that made the speech really good was the passion and emotion. Look, raw public speaking skill is really useful, and you can turn pretty much any topic into a pretty good speech. But nothing can really replace passion and emotion. If you really care about the topic, it's going to shine through far better than anything that you can do unnaturally, that you can make up with public speaking skills. The best speeches I've ever done are ones that I care deeply about the topic already, not that I'm trying to force myself to care or just trying to force myself to look like I care. That raw passion shows in everything you do throughout the speech. And even if you aren't polished, you're able to give a much better speech just because your audience realizes you care a lot about the topic. The fourth thing that Jimmy Kimmel did right was his use of humor. And this is really touchy because when you're talking about an emotional topic like this, using too much humor at the wrong times can make you seem like someone who doesn't even care about the well-being of your own son. Jimmy Kimmel certainly could have crossed that line, but he didn't. He was able to use humor at times to give comic relief to the audience without making it seem like he's an uncaring father. To the contrary, it was very clear that he cared about this topic deeply. Overall, this speech by Jimmy Kimmel was excellent. And it's certainly one that you can turn to for inspiration next time you're writing an emotional speech.